Hey what's up guys, this is Lair and welcome back to my channel and in this video, I will be answering 5 frequently asked questions for my Huawei D15. So if you want to check out the answer to those questions, then keep on watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for more future videos. And let's get on with the video. So it's been six months since I first used my Huawei D15, and over the months I've been receiving questions about it. So I have compiled the top five questions that I most frequently receive, and I will be answering them today. I hope that my answers to these questions would help someone in deciding whether the Huawei D15 is, is the best choice for them. So the first question that I will be answering is from Bernadette Ocampo. Uh, hi, I really appreciate this video. Thanks a lot for the info and heads up. I also thought of still buying the unit despite of the weird camera angle and then just buy the stand. Thinking it could help. Didn't at least improve it? Please respond. Thank you. So hi Bernadette. Thank you for that question. I think the stand helped. It's just that I went into streaming and then someone pointed it out that it's still a weird angle so I needed to buy a separate webcam but mm, there's gonna be an angle so maybe typing would be a bit harder because there's an angle for it and but if you get used to it I think you're fine. Next question is from Jennifer Marco Gabarda. Kailangan ko po bang mag-worry if nagiinit po yung D15 ko? I'm using my laptop for my online classes and light gaming like LOL, PUBG, and Valorant. I'm not really sure if like LOL, PUBG, and Valorant are considered light gaming. My definition of light gaming is like white ape. Oh <laughs> LOL, white ape! Yeah, but I think those kind of online games are not really light, so um, I think that might really contribute to the heating of your laptop. My advice to you, just to be sure, is that you can buy the laptop stand with cooling fans to better take care of your laptop. So for the next question is from G Gentry. Um, does this laptop work well with Adobe Premiere? I've been using Adobe Premiere a lot yeah, for these videos and what I can say about it is just to point it out, I'm not a professional video creator. I mean, I, I do this as a hobby and this is not really my work so I think I just want to point that out. For my usage as a small YouTuber, like I have been really happy with it because if you would notice, um, I tend to do a lot of graphics now um, which is for me kind of impossible if I would have been like using my old laptop which has 4 gigabyte of RAM uh, now I can do these things like add graphics to my YouTube and to make it more aesthetical um, it, yeah, it makes me happy that I will I am able to experiment to discover more about the Adobe Premiere someone asked about Filmora. I'm sorry, I'm not really using that app, but I think if it like takes the same amount of space as a Adobe Premiere, I think it will work just fine like the Adobe Premiere. Yeah, so far I, I love using my laptop for Adobe Premiere editing. We're down to the last two. Hi, uh, this is from Jack29 underscore Heya. Hi, how about the battery performance of the laptop if you're using it merely on browsing or watching YouTube videos? Okay, so to answer that question, um, I did a little experiment, like a test battery span of my laptop. So roll VTR. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how long it takes for the battery to be drained. Um, we're gonna start at 100% and I'm gonna do some work, um, just some light work. Obviously, if you use it for gaming or Adobe Premiere Pro, it's going to drain a lot faster. So to test that out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on some light tasks. Like for me, light means working on some Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, um, maybe do a little browsing, a little YouTube. And we're going to see how long it will take for this battery to drain from 100 to 0. All right. So it's 7.22 in the evening right now and we're gonna start off with 100% battery and see how long it will take this laptop to drain from 100 to 0.
Okay, so um, after an hour, it says here um, 70%, 3 hours and 56 minutes. Uh, okay. So I've I've been working for like no it's not it's, so it's eleven twenty eight so it's eleven twenty eight and I received na ako na the battery is running low so guys um I started at seven forty five I've been working nonstop for almost four hours and. Yeah, I drained my battery. Um, the last update was 6%. Uh, yeah, I did a little experiment where I used my laptop merely for um, browsing for like Microsoft apps and for like um, document editing. And uh, I figured out that from a full battery of 100% up to the time that the low battery like alert pops up. It took me four hours of continuous working to get to that level. Huawei claimed that the laptop would last four to six hours on battery and yeah, I, I got almost four hours of using it on battery. So I think that's decent. So for those Huawei D15 users out there, you can do the same test that I did and let me know in the comment section below how long it took you to like reach the low battery alert and for our last question this one is from Kathy Flores so Windows 10 installed by ito can you even download Google Chrome for this laptop? this question is undeniably the top one question that I've been like receiving for the, the laptop because from what I know uh, Huawei cell phones then have doesn't have like the Play Store so you can't really download Google and I think that's one of the main concerns of the people who wanted to buy the Huawei D15 but to answer that question um, it, it runs on the Windows 10 operating system so I think whatever app that you can download that runs in Windows 10 you can download it in the Huawei D15 so I hope that I was able to answer these questions and help some of the people are still undecided about purchasing Huawei D15. If you have more questions, you can leave it in the comment section below so I could respond to it or even make a part two of this video. So again, thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye! Love, love, love! <laughs>